Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Eileen. Today I'm working on a memory decks card. I mean, I've already made it. It's mostly like a finishing touches and a project share. So let me just start with how I came about with this one. Um, I knew I wanted to make a memory decks card for Alondra. She is having a challenge giveaway and all she wanted was a memory decks card. So I made mine and she wanted chunky 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 memory decks card memory decks card um so i knew i wanted to use the all heart collection this is the six by eight paper pad and i've purchased it last year um i never got to use it so i pulled this one out so i wanted it girly i wanted like 80s style and all heart kind of gave me that vibe um, so this is the only paper, um, that I have. So to begin with, this collection has like pennants in the, um, in the page, in the paper, decorative paper. So I made a pennant out of a page protector and I used my fuse tool to go around the edges to make my triangle. And then I uh, filled it with my sequin mix that I wanted to use. And I added some shaker bits, some sequins and some jemmies and um, some glitter bits from Hobby Lobby. And I added it to the center of the pennant. I know I covered most of it, so you can't really see a lot of it, but it's there. And um, I used my eyelet setter from the... Uh, uh, crocodile and I used um, two gold eyelets punched a hole and I used some seam binding for my um, ribbons because you know on the pennant they have like the little ribbons right on the side so I used the uh, seam binding that I had from my scrap cabin uh, on Etsy I got it, all the seam bindings from her um, so the next thing I did was um, I made the base. So the base I used acetate to make my shaker, ba uh, shaker bits. And you can see it there. Um, I wanted it to be a clear memory decks card, but I want it to be sturdy. So I took a scrap piece of paper and I folded around the edge the bottom edge of my acetate and then I stitch all the way around all the way around the edges here with some gold thread my sewing machine and um, then I uh, what do you call that attached to my pennant to my acetate and I use some of the chipboard stickers from the collection and then this roller skate is a die from KS Crafts, and I hauled this from Amazon. Um, I just had it dyed out, uh, cut, had it cut out of uh, gold glitter paper. And um, the little stars on the wheels are from the chipboard stickers again. So I just found two stars, and I add it to the wheels. Um, the heart and the words these words right here and the glasses are also chipboard oh that just came right off okay i didn't glue it i thought i glued it but let's glue that on so they stay um i just used some foam behind behind the chipboard okay um so i added some stickles onto the chipboard so i use the pink stickles here and on the glasses and on this word and the banner right there then i use some gold stickles on the stars right here and right here um, this one is a rosette that I made. It's a, just the regular round rosette. And then I just hand cut the heart shape around the rosette. Um, I used hot glue all the way around to add these glitter, these, uh, the glitter mix around the edging. And this is the mix that I used. I just used some chunky glitter from Walmart and uh, their iridescent glitter. And then some extra shaped glitters from Hobby Lobby, or is it Michaels? I think it might be Michaels. Some Michaels um, glitter bits too. So there's like hearts and stars, little itty bitty, itty bitty bitty, tiny pieces. So that's what I use to go around the edges of my rosette. 
Okay, so that's the front. And now I'm working on the back because I have to put my information, right? It's a memory card. So it should have my name on it somewhere and all that pertinent information that, you know, you're supposed to attach to. Um, I made this little slider card from a die I hauled from Tuesday morning. And it looks like it's moving. So I thought it works perfect with the, uh, we can't go fast because then you won't even see it. But if you slow it down a little bit, you can see it moving. So I did this um, Saturday and um, I just took the paper, the scraps from the paper that I used here and cut out some of the pieces and I'm gluing it to the outside of this envelope. So I put the little record here and a pair of skates and I'm also going to put this little pennant on this side. Just got to clean it up a little bit. And um, I'm just going to add a few more pieces to the back side just to decorate it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to do that now. And I think I'm just going to leave these pieces flat because I don't want it to uh, be too, too bulky. And I'm using my Barely Arts glue. Um, and this, this little piece had like uh, some a soda can and uh, uh, coffee and a piece of pizza. So I think I'm going to put all of them on there because it's just my jam. It's just fun. So I'm going to add the soda and this little teeny tiny coffee cup. So cute. This collection, it caught my eye. I saw um, Paper Milkshake using it and uh, a few other girls using this collection and I thought that is so cute and everything on it I love. Pizza, soda, coffee, everything bad for us. <laughs> and uh, so this card can slide all the way out and what I will do is write all my information on the back here and then I'm going to, I'll do that off camera so that um, I don't take too long. And then all I'm going to do is take this little envelope and my paper clip, I want to add some um, seam binding on there. So I'm going to take my paper clip and just use the paper clip right there. Okay. Um, I'm also going to add my little uh, tag. So it'll be on my card, on my memory decks card. And I'm just going to cut around it. I don't care if it's not a perfect circle. I just want it to be a little smaller than what it already is. And then I'll just add some glue to the back here. And I think I want it, uh, you can put it right there. And what I will do is write the, uh, write the year. Now I'm going to use like a little, my glitter gel pen just so, so it doesn't, um, look so bad. So I want to write, when does this is? February. So two, two, 21. Let me write this. Two, 21, just a year. Oh, come on, shall we? The gel pen, come on. <sighs> Don't fall using a gel pen. 20, 21. There you go. Just a year. And she can just take this card off and then um, pull the info out here. And I think I want to add some stickles. I don't know. We'll see. And I want to add some, some lines out on the edge. Just like that. And then, okay. Just around the edges, just to give it that little extra texture. Yep. I'm just going around the edging. I'm not exact. I like that. It has an extra texture, even though it's just from the pen. You know? Just like that. I love it. All right. And then I'm just going to say pull. Pull here. Pull here. And it looks like that. And I'll put my info on the back of that card. And just take that. I love it. Just get some extra. And it, you don't really notice that it's back there. Can you see how that looks? I'm just losing some, some glitter from my... <laughs> from my um, sequence here, or glitter. Glitter from my sequence, yeah, no. Glitter from my rosette is what I'm trying to say. But that's it. And I'm gonna send this out to her as soon as possible. I need to make a box for it too, so.
this one. All right, guys. So this is uh, the next day, but I'm just finishing up for Project Share. Uh, this is the Memory Dex box that I made for Alondra for her Memory Dex challenge. And um, I just added some um, thickers. Oh my gosh, I couldn't think of the word. I just added some thickers to the top of the box for her name. Thought that was a great way to personalize this little box. And you just put the lid down behind the rosette um, right there. And you can just straighten this out a little bit more. Just like that. So anyway, I used the papers from the All Heart collection, the 6x8 paper pad that I have. And I used two different papers. I got the um, the peace fingers and then I got the pink with the pink stars on the back. I used that for the side panel and the back panel. And then um, I stitched around all the layers. I didn't add anything to the bottom. And as you saw, I made this with just my um, scoreboard and I shaped it basically around the Memory Dex card. And then, um, I took some of the chipboard stickers that I had, I peeled off the sticker part and just used it so that I don't have to deal with the stickiness back here, whatever's not um, touching something, it won't be sticky. So I just peeled it off and hot glued some foam onto the back so it could lift it and give it even more, even more dimension <laughs> because it's not enough dimension. All right, so I use a Dollar Tree um, hook and loop circles those dots and I cut it one in half and put one half here and then the other half here and then you can see my memory dex card it's right here inside <clears throat> now um, I added a few more things to it because there just wasn't enough stuff on here um, I added a little heart that Jenny um, shared with me she's crafty Hilo girl on YouTube um, I also added this little resin popsicle. I don't remember who shared it to me. I think it was Jenny or Ginger, one of those two ladies or somebody else. I don't remember exactly because there's just so many. <laughs> and then one of the little um, shaker stars that also came from Jenny who was gracious enough to send me some multiples of these little puffy shaker shapes. I had some hearts and some stars that she shared with me. And um, this one I already shared with you. This is from the My Scrap Cabin Etsy shop. She's also My Scrap Cabin on um, Instagram. And she hand dyes these um, seam bindings. And I just left it long. And then on the back, I shared that with you. I just picked up this dye recently from Tuesday morning. And it makes this little interactive card where the heart looks like it's moving. And um, I thought that was really cute and it suits the, the, um, the paper collection. And so I just wrote on the top right there, pull here so she knows that you can pull it out and there's all my information. And um, I just put it right back into the little envelope holder a card holder and these little pieces I just fussy cut out of the scrap piece of paper and layered them on here so it just says hey girl hey hey girl hey and then the, um, the drinks the pizza the pair of roller skates and the little record I thought that was super super cute and then the last thing I added was my little sticker right there on the bottom and then that's it guys I'm gonna put this in the mail hopefully tomorrow or sometime this week i want to get her entry my entry to her challenge out sometime this week also um i want to work on elizabeth and then i have a few happy mail projects that i want to work on i don't think i'll be entering any more challenges as of right now for the month of february because i want to also get more of my projects my crochet projects completed and done and i want to make my um, prom keep my promises to a few ladies so there it is that is my entry for
for Alondra's Memory Dex Challenge. I hope you guys go check her out on Instagram. She um, does not do YouTube videos, but um, she does post everything on Instagram. So guys, go check her out. And I hope you um, still have time to join. She has till the end of February, February is when she's closing her challenge. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.